Greetings and presentation number 18. More prophecy poetry for you. I'm going to begin and end with two more poems by Jodie O'Brien in a wonderful book entitled Prophecy Poetry, which is available on Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. In between, I'm going to insert a poem which I cannot claim to have written as such. It is more just a flow of a current thought. But uh, God things, good things, as well as bad things, all come in threes in this duality. So we start with the first poem by Jodie O'Brien called Cherish. Cherish each other. Sweetness fortifies every lover. Love light plays and idols. Conjoining hearts, a triumphant symphony. Fate's finger pointed right at me. I am afraid, for could love be, really, for me? So that's the uh, first poem. This one I have just sort of put together and I've entitled it The Search and the Finding. With counter peace I could play games but to try there's a lie where only criminals gain. Look up, look down, to the south, east or west, what did you find? Another rabbit hole mess. You were told all the king's horses and all the king's men would fail and fall. The pieces may fit, but never complete and whole again. There is an external, a Flavius deceiver, a duality broth. Do you see the pattern? There is always a choice of wrath. But are you in a state of fear? See it all around you. Feel it inside you. Is the wrath of God a child called wrath? Or do you know the Hebrew meaning of Maseroth? Look inside, not Pandora's box of sin and gog. There is the hint, your mission bell. A ball or baal. Look north, a star called dog. Here we go, Jericho. Round and round you go. In a web, in a spin, so thin and fine, just like a spin, an outward force to show. Desire becomes lust, a grand design. Spiralling ever into the ground, return to dust, bled dry, a pixelated hellhole. Once was the day, from dust formed clay, bent out of shape, increments of 33 degrees, which way were you rocked from that first day? Worked to the ground, bled to the bone, ignored the cause of mercy. The mirror. The shadow surrounds you, inside everyone, deep down, you knew, but forgotten, lost in conflict and confusion. Fed to the unconscious, negative, telefusion. That one door you dare not open, you fear to tread, do all you can, fight it, deny it, you cannot escape when you are already dead. In a cycle, spin dial, a wheel comes full circle around, in death is life, both and all at once, inside is the key, seek, the rich is there to be found. And sound, the word, the frequencies, light spectrums, without tantrum, an eye, singular, Clearly sees, until you do, still roam to seize. Be still, you are a being, not a doing. To roam you pay roam, an unpleasant aroma. Aim high, ever rest, the clues all showing. Look around, but not in a spin. Look around from a solid ground, sure. With a contented, loving grin. Without a real eye, you still fail to realise. You say, but seldom, 
do you see real lies? Be still, go within, close your eyes to the scams. The answer you want is inside you. I am that I am. So now, poem number three, in a similar vein. And I have to say, the prophecy poetry by Jodie O'Brien is very inspiring. I'm not going to deny that reading some of her, her poems, I would say, have accounted, accounted for probably about 50% of that one I just created. So the final poem for you is called An Ode to God by Jodie O'Brien. There's only one God. He's within you and I. He's the birds and the bees. He's the earth and the sky. He's the sun in the morning and the moon in the night. He's the stars and the rainbows and the bringer of light. He's the love in your heart and the rhythm in dance. He's the faithful in faith, the Romeo of romance. He's truth and he's kindness. He's flawless and pure. He soothes and removes blindness. He is every cure. For hell and for heartache and sadness and tears, he'll quell if you partake and dispel all your fears. Entrust him with your life. Entrust him with your soul. Recline and rest. In his great hands, he will not let you fall. All he asks, you do your best. And if you love, you'll pass the test. For God, he loves us all. And that concludes the combination of the three poems, which I will combine in the title of this presentation. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, as and when anything comes, um, I may well write it down and relay it to you as I go. So just to uh, prove to you here that uh, this was written in one go. That's the uh, poem here. You can see there's very few corrections in it. There's a few little bits I've changed, but it's pretty much as it came. It's the creator within us when we realise that we are co-creators. But all too often we are focused on the garments. The uh, outside, not the real being inside. That's what so many fail to see and which is why we have these awful displays you've got black friday sales coming up and if you want to see the worst displays of humanity well i think uh, <laughs> it's there to be witnessed and uh, sort of goes in many ways to show how a little bit of knowledge can be a bad thing when it is focused on the exterior and the material and let's face it these things that they fight over in five years or so, you can go down to a local council tip and you'll find all these things have been thrown away in skips because they're obsolete, because they're designed to fail after a certain time. Nice scam. Play that game as much as you want. But if you're dicing, <laughs> it's up to you. They'll be splicing. It's better to just not play that game. Just sit back and laugh at it all, because it's all the illusion of Caesar's world. The image here, yes, is very beautiful, but that is nature, that is na nature all, that is natural. That is not the material that you have to pay for, don't forget. This is all free. This is there to be appreciated and loved. And when you see what it really is, then that is a real wonder. Ta-ta for now.